Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation on the family dynamics of addiction. Over the next, you know, 35, 45 minutes, we're going to define how define what a family is, examine how addiction impacts the family emotionally, socially, physically, and spiritually. So this is going to be a real high-level overview. Obviously, there are volumes of books that you can read on uh, working with families that are impacted by addictions. I just want to give you sort of a high-level insight so you have an idea what, about what some of your patients may be dealing with if they have an addicted family member. So why do we care? The identified patient doesn't exist in isolation. And at least in the school that I went to for counseling, we didn't talk a lot about identified patients unless we were talking about family therapy. The identified patient is the person who is identified as being the sick one, when in reality the entire family is kind of sick. As the identified patient's behaviors and problems develop, the family's behaviors change to try to maintain stability. So you want to try to keep the family together, and this person's kind of going rogue here. So how do we adjust in order to keep this family together? When the identified patient begins to change in recovery, that disrupts the balance too. So we've already adjusted to you being rogue out here, and then you're coming back into the fold, so we've got to readjust. This causes problems because the family members aren't prepared to have to adjust. Um, they're used to reacting and acting uh, with the identified patient in a certain way. When John does this, when John was late coming home from work, that always meant that he had been out at the bar. Well, John's in recovery now. When he's late coming home from work, maybe it means there was a traffic jam. Or he got, had to stay late to finish up something that he was working on. These are not things that automatically click into the minds of people who have been living with a family member who has an addiction. Another example, when Sally started sleeping late and going to bed early, it, it always meant that a major depressive episode was coming on. 